<laughs> welcome, welcome everyone. Good evening and hello to all joining in tonight's show. I'm Cecilia Salazar and tonight the fabulous Richard Young is not with us because he's in fabulous New York. Yeah. Yes, having a time with his friend and them. Yeah, when my internet is given trouble, I feel like I'm in Boo York. <laughs> Gosh. Anyway. Yes, Richard is supposed to join us live from New York, mm -hmm. hoping all our technicals work out tonight and and the father of the internet is giving us a little push, wasting yes. us with some nice internet connection. But we also have, you all have seen a wonderful young lady sitting there. Oh, the Who is she? Where she come from? I know some of you. I know all you. I know all you. <laughs> this, we have our faithful and beautiful, and she's an, a viewer of our show, Felicia this. Dos Santos, host of the OMG Entertainment News Brief on CCN TV City. Welcome, Felicia. Welcome. Hi. Hi, Felicia. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, hi. 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 Oh, I thought you was doing the sign language in the news there. You know, <laughs> internet, the internet. internet. Ah, yeah, there's a delay. Right. Welcome, guys. Bonnet, come here. Boy. I got it all. I good. Yeah. Excited as per normal. Happy as per normal to meet with you all. Look, Felicia gone and leave with the internet. Yeah. Internet. Just tonight. Yeah. Such is life with technology. Yes. What you um, I, am, I am so happy to be here. I know we're going to miss Richard, but what do you all yes. think about my. I'm honoring my ancestors. I have Carib and I'm Arawak and Men. I mean, I mean, yes. Am I not looking like a Carib queen? Yes, you are. Yes, yes, you are. I love it. Very Carib. I'm trying to do Caribbean queen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have Carib in me. Well, <laughs> inside. But I, I was going to see. I was going to see my own song. My own song. <laughs> oh God, fantastic! Okay. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a night. So yes. everybody, hold on to your seats and uh, let's jump right in and check out what's on in today's show. Today in OMG Game Time Challenge, we have Guess That Vintage Kaiso Challenge. We play a piece of, for the new newbies, we play a piece of classic Kaiso and you guess the song and the singer. This week, it's not going to be easy, people. God. People, come out, get ready. It's not going to be easy. Um, when, um, Bonnet, your friend not here, right? Who was Which here? Friend? Which one friend? Is the is your or the friend? one who you want to guess all the answers last week? <laughs> oh, is that, was that, I don't know. Was that Christine? I can't remember who, who guessed all last week, no? Well, well, let me all the quest answers under the table before the show. <laughs> she would be needed this week because it's not easy. Of course, we have the fabulous Richard Young joining us live from New York. Yes, and meanwhile on TikTok, we have some more hilarious videos to share with you. And we also have a trailer from a brand new comedy called lady of the manor plus a music video from soca superstar lyrical with fatia over I like mm -hmm. it. I like mm -hmm. it. we like lyrical that we yeah. thumbs mm -hmm. up on that one mm -hmm. <laughs> all that and much more in this episode of omg live caribbean oh, yeah. we are also not forgetting we are also joined from time to time by our voice in the sky our oh. producer director accompanist mr Stephen Dubai. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the voice in the band. background. That's our yeah. Oh, Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, and the next, hi, Stephen. <laughs> and well, the next most important guests of the evening are all the folks oh, who are right. dropping their thoughts and comments <laughs> and joining us tonight on OMG Live Caribbean. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Our fifth host today. Yes, they're going to be the fifth host. So come out, people. Come out. Bring out your thoughts. 
Right, nice. Good. Anybody talk to us now? Who going on? Who out there? Let's. Um. Hi. Jennifer is here. Jennifer Nathan. I'm seeing Dominic. Um. La Roche. Pagey Page. Eh, eh, Esther Bigford. Esther only coming on the live. She wouldn't. Cook a, she wouldn't cook a thing and bring for the child. No. Every minute you're on a live, cook something, mother. Hi. Tia. Um. Dawn Victor. Hi, Dawn. Priya Gomes. Aka Miranda. <laughs> Anthony Lawrence. Rosalind Smith, Kimo Thomas, Lydia hey. Byron. Hi, Nelly. Hi, Hi, Rene. Hi, Anthony. Uh, Lemon Noel Gooding. Yep. yep. Some Hi, of Dean. Yeah, you can tell we don't go out often, you all. Hi. But you know what's so wonderful about this, though? You know, it, they feel like family. All of these yes. people, like, you know, we know I, I, we, all of us would know one of these or two of the or a couple of more of these people. So it's yes. like a family, you know, even though there's internet between us and all these gigabytes, mm -hmm. you know, we still feel in love. So thank you. Aww, I feel the love. I feel the love. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, so, oh, well, I want our audience on Facebook and YouTube to get ready to take part in this next segment, okay? We want you to tell us in the comment section. What was one thing you were happy about this mm -hmm. week? Just one thing. I'm sure you can find one thing. So start typing away one thing you were happy about this week. You all, you know, while, while the audience type in, uh, yeah. There's one thing I, I was really happy for. I was so happy that Ida missed us, you know. We didn't get that because did you all yeah. see images on television? Yes. Oh, my God. I was really happy all that we didn't get a touch. Yes, and it so happened on the, on the anniversary of Katrina, you know. Yes. That's yes, it's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Natasha oh. Thomas says, I started my driving classes. Congratulations, Natasha. Congrats. Yeah. Independence. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> As I say, independence. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. No, no, no. I say independence. What are you happy about? As I said, independence. I just remembered Maria Bola's competition that I yes. was. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. Oh, my good. God. It was so wonderful. We you were a judge? Yeah. yeah, I ended up judging. I, well, kind no, I'm not judge. I didn't. I looked oh, you at didn't? Her. Oh, yes, man. you will, Penny. You don't release your information. You don't bust it out already. You can't pull it back down. <laughs> Dale, oh, Rami, Dale Ramirez in the audience said that we are all wake up, that we all wake up to another day. That's a good thing to be happy for. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. But sometimes when you see the kind of stupidness that's going on in this world, it's like, mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but this. I was, um, yeah, yeah, Penny, go on. Bola did was exceptional and i think that we have so much we have so much talent in this country i mean the things that people went out you know mm -hmm. and as i said priya priya was priya's a boss priya is a boss priya is a boss she was, oh my gosh you're so funny you have to see her cast impersonation impersonation beautiful yeah priya, i have to go and look it up gosh, i, 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 I have one more we have was, one more yeah thankful from Kaimo Thomas. I'm happy for the visit of some Kimo. friends I haven't seen. Kimo, sorry, Kimo. I'm happy for the visit of some friends I haven't seen since the pandemic started. That's yeah. a great That's thing. That's something to be happy I with. Was, yeah. um, let me tell you, I was very happy this weekend. I was down the islands with my family for the Independence Weekend because my mother celebrated her 80th birthday. Wow. So we went as a family, and it was just wonderful to be with my yeah, sister, yeah. nieces, and just be together yeah. for the family with my mother. It was, I'm just happy. It was so good. So I, I hope everybody I, has that happy family. Feel. Yeah, my happy moment is something similar to that. So I have five siblings. I have all younger, four younger brothers, and one younger sister by, by my mother. So my mother has six children. And I mean, we, we communicate, but 
we, 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 we're never really, I can't remember the last time we were in the same place together, in the same right. space. Mm -hmm. it, it hasn't been years. I mean, I see one, I see the other, but you never see all of them. And something as simple as doing a group chat on Messenger. I don't know why I've never thought of that before, <laughs> but I did this group chat with my siblings on Messenger. And I feel so good about it because I feel like we're so much closer. I mean, when my brothers are oh, that. They could go on and on and on. But I'm saying, why didn't I think of doing this before? Yes. Having a group chat where we all could actually talk with one another. Sometimes yes. we, I mean, I'm so yes. slow at times there, eh? but no, that but makes me happy. That, that, you know, and it's so, it's so happy to just be with your family and feel full support and exactly. love of your family. Mm -hmm. And really what is wonderful. good about it, you would think that the internet and this, this, this um, connection is going to keep you away from, you know, really... But it helps. It's so much, you know. It does. It, it does. Yeah. It helps just seeing them, seeing them smile and seeing them live. You know, everybody. It, it is wonderful. Last we have, we have one last one from Dean Batiste. He says, yeah. "I'm happy for all the things that are opening up to some level of normalcy." Mm. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Hi, Dion. Hi. <laughs> I was wondering. Dion. I was wondering if people come from away here, where they going, boy? Because then people come to Trinidad for the summer, summer, you know. I wonder what, what they're doing. Mm. I just, I mm. just stay in family. Yeah, stay in my family or stay in another house with a pool. And yeah, Felicia, yeah. What, does, what makes you happy? What made you happy this week? Other than the internet coming back. <laughs> oh, God, yes. I was so grateful for that. I don't know what's going on tonight. Yeah, but yeah. um, I think this week, what happened? I suffer with ulcerated stomach. So... I was able to eat a good meal this week. Very <laughs> good. Very good. Yes. yes. <laughs> that is something to be very happy about, girl. Mm -hmm. it's, yes. It's I, yes. I well eat this weekend. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go. Right. Anyway, we're going to know people. We're moving yes. on. Mm -hmm. We are moving on along, and now we're going to head over to Meanwhile on TikTok. orientation is spoken about so much these days things are no longer just male and female or people are identifying as all these different shades of ways to live and love mm -hmm. wonderful, you know, know them and who I am. but what if you were to apply that theory to people who are lacking money yeah what would that conversation <laughs> sound like what the hell do i mean well <laughs> It's like if you are a poor person, right? But you want to live your life and identify yourself as a good person with them and half them. Take a listen. Hi, my name is Shay and I am a rich person born in a poor person's body. Um, and so as I make this transition into my truth um, of as being a rich person, just so that I'm not like shocked and so the people around me aren't shocked. Um, I practice daily uh, when I can uh, to be rich. So I give rich vibes. I buy rich things. Um, does my bank account agree? No. But do I agree? Yes. Um, because what my bank needs to understand is they will, deny, they will not deny me my truth. Um... And so, yeah, I'm rich. Nice to meet you. <laughs> That's powerful, though. I that love that. You know, there's a saying. I um, love it. Fake it till you fake it. Till make, you it. Make, it. Make, make it. Make it till you make it. it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I love yeah, that. I do that all the time. I imagine that all the time. Yeah. I do. Giving us a little push. Push. Going to yes. my stores or Republic Bank and tell them I'm rich. <laughs> Could you see it? The handcuffs will be real. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, gosh. I love it. I love it. Okay, anyway, well. let's move along. Kenneth Sipasad is a Trinidadian comedian who has taken up the challenge of expanding his brand from stage to the internet. 
Here is a very emotional piece from his Na comedy series. Take a look. Oh, 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 God. You remember when it had the coup? Oh, God, you didn't ride there with me, eh? And when the bandit and them they robbed me, eh? You didn't ride right there with me, girl. And when I did slip and fall down from the step, and I did damage my hip, you did right right there with me. When I got my first heart attack, you did there with me right through it. Girl, you is a blight. Another local comedian, Jovel Junior Lee Lemo, he is so happy that all soca artists are out in the US now making money again and seeing all their videos, showing them in Miami and all New York, everybody. I see Nadia the other day, I said, right, anyway, everybody in New York, well, he wanted to do a video showing his travels. So, look, look at this. Does he remember me now? <laughs> Yo, Chestnut Young in New York, heading over to Boston in a bit. This weekend we're going to be crazy, vibes with voicey. Yo, Travis, everybody, link up, link up, link up, link up, yo. <laughs> you see, that's exactly in, in, yes, in his imagination. Fake it till you make it, and just you know, just pretend. I love it. And we live in any matrix, y'all. It looked real at the beginning, huh? With the it just the background there. Yeah. <laughs> then you see Saint James. That was Saint James, right? I love it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so funny. I, I was, I was pa telling Penny down the islands this weekend, we had a blow-up pool. It was a blow-up pool because, you know, you're not supposed to swim, etc. So we'd be like, oh, we're going to the pool deck. Yes, we had a resort. Oh, we'll meet you upstairs. Yes, cocktails at the pool deck. is a big blow-up pool and all, all of us like big fools in the blow up pool. Oh. It was <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. <laughs> oh, 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 we have one more TikTok. There's nothing more fulfilling than seeing old friends who had a riff come back together as one. Things become so good between them, they decided to sing a song. Take a look. My bestie and your bestie sit down by the fire. Your bestie says she want parties, so can we make these flames go higher? Talking about hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now. I go, I go, I ne. Talking more fina, I na ne. Talking more fina ne. How did you do that? Listen, you see that? That is dangerous. It's something called deep fake, right? Where they put over. Um, somebody's normal face and make them say the things that they're not saying. That is a dangerous technology right there. As much as it's funny, <laughs> that is dangerous. I know. Yes, that's true. <laughs> but I'm glad we know the two individuals well, so we know. <laughs> it's fun. But my, I love oh, it. I oh love my it. God. It's funny. It's too funny. funny. Right. Well, peeps, yeah, that's all for this episode of Meanwhile on TikTok. Next, we take a little peep at the beautiful island of St. Kitts and the Nevis.
Beautiful. Yeah, boy. Wow. Very, 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 very oh, sweet. I love real women. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, love it. <laughs> soon, soon, soon. You know you're wonder boy, where eh? you're wonder boy, where you're scared. Yes, and I don't know we, why I got. I hope we can reach some sort of Caribbean bubble. You know, uh, oh my God, cool, I don't know. You see what happened? Oh, 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 outside, there's only Caribbean people. Yes, yeah, only Caribbean. What, but look at what's going on in the Caribbean, though. Look what went on in Grenada. You know, Grenada spiking now. When they, and, they, they you know, and so, what about Jamaica? What about yes, Jamaica? Yes, when they're 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 all they're all they're they're hold it, hold it. You know what? They're moving into something that I like. And I want the audience to get ready too, because people, ladies and gentlemen, up next we have hot topics. Yes. Save it, save it, save it. Yeah, I was just looking at that situation in Jamaica with all the hospitals and 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 mm -hmm. the fact that they um can't find oxygen for people who are who are, yeah. oh my gosh, it is such a frightening situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's and, I, and I and I spoke to a friend in Grenada and they said Grenada is spiking. So you all know it had jab jab in Grenada about two yes. weeks ago. You all saw yes. the yes. now, now they're spiking. Expected, it, yes, they spike here now, so of course. And then, the it might, may not about, the, about the um, the health workers in Grenada, they're not taking their shots as well, so that's mm -hmm. another problem they're worried mm -hmm. about in Grenada, yeah. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, meanwhile, in Trinidad. The jab jab is a different meaning. Take the jab, right? <laughs> Take the jab. <laughs> and and the, the prime minister over the weekend said basically to go to school, you have to have your vaccine. Schools are opening mm -hmm. at the beginning of October for mm -hmm. fours, fives, and sixes, I believe. But to come to school, you have to have your vaccine or else you can't come. So right. that, that's a hot topic right there. Yeah. I don't know how yeah. you all feel about that one. I, but well, you know, I, I don't know. I really don't know what we expect because let's say we open we open the school back out to everybody, yeah. all and sundry with Delta variant and if everything else, and we have a, a outbreak in the school. Well, then what was what, what is going to happen? Who are we going to blame? Yeah. So there yeah. has to be some sort of measurement, yeah. some sort of controls implemented. I, I mean, I don't know what we expected to happen. Yeah. I, I'm actually quite happy that my eight year old son doesn't have to go back out to school. Yeah, I, and I, I also I also think the the fact that a new variant is being spoken of, that yeah. too is what why we should be really looking at this seriously because we will get more and more variants. So if you are not vaccinated and your child are not it, it isn't vaccinated, of course you will be exposed. Oh, yeah. So it, it's just something we need to do. But yeah, on a well, lighter I wouldn't note, want to send my child to school without a vaccine as well. You know, I, I, I would feel safer that she's vaccinated yeah. and hopefully the teachers. That yeah. would be a whole other level that they, you know, that they're going to have to deal with. Well, yeah. October 1st will soon come and we'll see how it goes. Thank God my daughter's only in four months. So. You all know the, 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 yeah, the TikTok video that we did last week with, right, the, yeah. with the children talking about their parents being a <laughs> prostitute that was so funny that, you know there was a big backlash right because there's a generational thing there that you know the older generation don't see how funny that is so there was yeah. a huge bash, uh, backlash on social media how you all felt about that i saw this one with a jamaican um uh, a jamaican um father and his um daughter trying it it was so funny to but he wasn't having it. He was so upset. And yes, she, the it's, it's such a generational thing. One it side, I, I could see the um, I could see the, the cross wires. I could see. Yes. It. I mean, yeah. I mean, I hope no child would ever let it go out there without her mother or father's permission. I find if right. they're sitting out there, they must have their parents' permission. So, so after they do the prank. Yeah. So to their parents and their parents realize how they behave, but they know it's a joke. Yes. So they release it. I so the, the only thing I will say about that is that this is on for life. Their so. great, great, great grandchildren will be seeing this and they would not be able to put it into context. 
So you feel so? Funny. Remember, if, if if forty years from now, and they look up their grandmother, and they, their grandmother being, you know, they seen that they they being told that the grandmother was a prostitute. No they can't man, but that. you can tell that it's a prank. They can tell it's a prank. I don't. I don't. I find you it funny. You see me, Vonet, Suzanne, Bigford. I know is not to try that on Esther Bigford or not. <laughs> yes, trouble. I, I mean, as much as I laughed at some, I know I am not going to try that with because they are not going to understand anything remotely funny about that. Yeah. And had I tried that on, on my mother, I would not be sitting here today talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I felt, I I felt that my mother, my mother would never allow me to show it. Even if I did do the prank with her, she would tell you, man, nobody can see that. But look, no way, look no way, no way. Look, Natasha Thomas says my daughter does not like it at all, and she's nineteen. So there's yeah, all think, different elements. Yeah, there. I think it's yeah. funny, and, but some of it, I think you really need to get your parents' permission, you know, whoever you did it with, because yeah, yeah. fair. You know, yeah. it's unfair because they have friends as well, you know, yeah. and it'll be a, a shame to see that stupidness, you know, as as a parent, you know, but um, I think it could be funny. I, I was laughing like a fool. Yeah, it, it was funny. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, another hot topic we could talk about. I saw that some of our athletes did very well on Independence Day. We got Independence Gold. Michelle wow. Yahi got nice. um, gold in the 100 meters in Italy. It was, yeah, in Italy. I'm trying to remember the name of the city. And uh, um, Dion Leno, Leno, Lendo. he got Lendo. yeah, Lendo, he got mm -hmm. bronze in the 400 meters. Mm -hmm. It's sounds like oh, Roberto, Italy. So nice. congratulations! Nice. I love to see. And what about um, the cricket? Well, I looked up. I looked up the Trinidad and Tobago athletes. Uh, sorry. Uh, what? What about the cricket? Anybody know? Well, I was the down cricket? the islands. I did not watch the CPL much. I'm now trying to catch up with the CPL. But I, I know that Trinidad Knight Riders got a whooping from the Amazon Warriors. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Twice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody know why Wayne Bravo had to leave the team? I just was curious about that. What team? The See, Trinidad if, team. If, if the audience knows. What do you mean? Yeah. He, isn't he what the guy on his... Ghana, he's with another no, team. No, he's with St. Kitts and Patriots. But you see how the CPL operates, Penny. It's not like you're not playing know. for your country. Yeah. It's a draw. It's a pool of of yes. players, and you are um, picked and drawn and based oh, on okay. your levels. And so Bravo, Bravo he, can play for whoever he wants. There's Bravo can play for whoever he wants. And to make the teams more even, to make it a better competition, right, you right. put him as the captain there. So that the whole thing. I have big arguments with, with um, you know, Priya, about Priya this because I want everybody to be a Trinidadian on our team, but they're not. Priya is saying that he's captain and at the at Saint Kitts. Saint Kitts Patriots, Saint Kitts. yes, right. Okay. And that is the host country this year, so okay, right. It's very okay. exciting. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. Good. I'm glad for them. And they have the most points right now, so. Mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Interesting. Have to see how you play. So I you can watch CPL. What I was amazed at, at going back to the COVID thing, mm -hmm. the amount of pregnant women in a couple of is like this week got into the hospital with COVID. About oh. over sixty women. What? Yeah. Women, yes. Mm. Wow. With COVID just this week they found that there was a large number of pregnant women with COVID. It was so amazing. I, I found that amazing. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. I don't want. I really scary. don't know what's going on with our health system. Sometimes I. You know, I feel like um, they don't know either. But yeah, because you know, every time I, I turn on the news, I see today 11 more deaths. Yeah. 11. Yeah. Felicia, the Santos. Yes. Yeah, but so what are your hot topic today? <laughs> what you wanna you wanna talk about? Oh gosh, I feel like I fed up here the COVID thing. But for me, what is worrying and the hot topic in my you know in my mind is the fact that more um I think it was sixty something pregnant women only in one week yes. this week. Yes. The mm -hmm. cases. Mm -hmm. And I was right. blown away and it was like three hundred and I believe forty three in total. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it just skyrocketed in. So that's kind of strange. Like where are they getting it mm -hmm. from? Like I have my own theory in my head, but I'm not too sure and I wanna see. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 it's just worrying. It's baffling because we're in a state of emergency. I mean, you know, my everybody is in their bubble as far as I know. All our, I mean, I, I don't know anybody breaking. I don't know how it's still spreading. Well, Somebody will have to enlighten me. Um, um, Cecilia, there's only any night we have a little control, but everybody's doing what they're supposed to. Everybody going about doing what they're doing during the day. Yeah. So it's only the night we have a curfew. Everybody's going to work. Everybody going to clinic. Everybody doing what they have to do. Other than that, really, it's mm -hmm. just any night we have the curfew. All we have is a curfew in the night. Basically, everything else is about normal. People going about their business as normal. So yeah. we expect the numbers to spike because mm. things have been things have opened up. So the numbers will spike. No, the amount of deaths do. I find for yeah. our little country that is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I mean, spike, but the deaths. Yeah, yeah. The numbers are mm -hmm. so mind blowing. I, I eleven people. The other yeah. day was nine. I mean, there was, yeah. there was none, but oh my God. I, th yeah. I think we average in seven a day. Like yeah. seven a, it's a, a day. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. quite a lot for a country of 1.4 million people. Yeah. It's yes. crazy. Well, there are many theories on that, but we won't go into all of those theories mm -hmm. here tonight, <laughs> right? What about our fans on social media? What are they saying? What they're are they still talking. They're talking about the prank, and Renee Samuel said that prank is trouble parental. Permission is definitely needed for such a prank. Yeah. Maria Maria Bola says, it's a no for me on my mom. I go be deceased. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. That yeah. is funny. Yeah. I think we can move on. Yeah. yeah. Good. All right, people. S Salazar. Yes. That, that, that was, was great. great. Good. Good. Everybody nice. Um, I think that we have... um delve in everything that was up to this week mm -hmm. um yes so, yeah it's great everybody keep, thank the you. keep the comments rolling in rolling in we head over to dominique i was trying to we're going over to dominica next right <laughs> there's dominique It's beautiful. Sweet. Wow. Mm -hmm. lovely. lovely, 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 lovely. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And we are moving things along. And here is, and now this. We are joined now by none other than Mr. Richard Young. Live. Oh, Hi, everyone at OMD Live Caribbean Richard Young, but I'm not a woman for that. I am in Jersey City, in Jersey, at the Liberty House. And there is a storm brewing outside there, and that's Ida that has now reached up to New York and New Jersey, right? And it's blowing, and there is a lot of rain, and cats and dogs and litters are forming there. But we are here for the launch of three brands by the QCK Alliance and Partners. One of them is called Kev Absolute. Kev Absolute is a formal wear and bridal wear collection designed by a gentleman that we see, but with all of the women in mind who want to make that outstanding statement. We also have Nomi and Nomi Inc., which usually could be with their luxury short wear. And so we're looking, waiting just to tie for that to start. Also, the K2K Alliance and partners will be still launching their carnival band, even though we're not sure about 2024, 2023 even, but they're launching. So three brands are being launched here tonight by that phenomenal twin duo, um, Kathy and Karen Norman. Okay, so we, I'll get back to you with some more details, but just want to start, and it's such a fabulous ambiance here at the Liberty House. I wish you all were here. I'm Cecilia and Stephen. Bye for now. Hi. Oh, he gonna God. he gonna pop back in right with more stuff. I hope. Yeah. Um, no, no, he's they no. they having some technical difficulties. So. Oh, okay. Oh. 
Yeah. And I was, won- yeah. I was wondering about the two K two um, launch, kid. like K two K. Sorry, launch um, because of carnival. So he said there that they're actually going to still launch the carnival um, costumes. Fans. Interesting. Yeah, their costumes. They, they have such no. fabulous costumes. It happens. It doesn't happen. At least they did the launch. We'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And anybody here ever played with them? I have not. I'm I'm, I'm not a mask person, so I I um I modeled for them. <laughs> yes. yes. Their first year, I did. Their first year, they wanted an actress, so you know it was. I had to come down and do a poem. I would love to. I would love to. Um, I guess we could talk a little bit about this because you have a little time, right? Yes. Bro, yeah. well, we good with time. We good. All right. At first, when I saw their costumes, I felt it was a little too much for carnival and for mass. Um, I'm meaning heavy, meaning, you know, we in the hot sun and whatever. But then as they moved on and they evolved, you saw that, yes, it was court couture for carnival. And they worked it in a way that it really wasn't bulky, you know. So now I'm looking at it and thinking, oh, if I could afford it, I want to, I really think I want to try. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous phenomenal. fabulous yes. and not only that you see them on the streets for carnival and then six months after you could wear a kaftan to go to yes. a wedding and yes. them kind of think oh absolutely yes. fabulous yes we've, yeah. we've borrowed we've borrowed costumes to wear on stage mm-hmm. for like john thomas concerts believe we've borrowed their they have extra costumes and these are the carnival things they're like go they're fabulous yeah yeah fabulous fashion Fashion yeah. as mass. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Richard, so lucky to be there. Yes, yeah. boy. Yes. Well, when he comes right. back, hope he brings plenty pictures. Okay. Okay. Nicole, you know, guess what? It's time for that OMG game time challenge. Let's yeah. Right, so here goes. Today we have Guess That Vintage Kaiso Challenge. We'll play you a little piece of a classic Kaiso, and you have to tell us the name of the song and the singer. If you get the answer right, you get to ask any one of us on the panel one question, Ms. Dos Santos as well. One <laughs> question. You will learn something. And Ms. Dos Santos is a good person you can ask. <laughs> and you can learn something today. So are we ready? Um, just a minute um see if we can <laughs> sorry i need a couple um oh my a couple of seconds, yes. tell us about yourself Gil. yes we we don't don't know, about you. yes yeah. we didn't hear much <laughs> hello yeah it's gone okay. again she's gone, gone again, again. How come, I can, me, how come you never asked me to tell you about myself? Oh, a Lord. Night. If that book been read. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm I, I ready for you. I'm ready for you. Let's go. Let's go, Santos. You get away. <laughs> I think she's not hearing us. Yeah, she's not hearing us. She's not hearing us. Yeah, it's stuck. Oh, okay, well, we... This is Oy. poison. Oh, what year? Oh, anybody out there? Da, 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 da. You know, I don't know who sing that. I don't know either. Ha ha ha. I know this song, but I don't know who sing that. I'll tell her later so, this week. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when was right when she said it was going to be hard. Yes. Gosh. Yeah. Hmm. Nobody, Gosh. nobody else, nobody, nobody in the audience. Nobody. I can't even tell them if they're the wrong or the right. I even know myself. So we love that, Stephen. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Let's go to the second one. No, I can put up the first one. Okay. Ready? Okay. Devon. Devon. Play it again. Play it again. Play it again. Play it again. Rude, rude. Nice. I remember that. Rude, rude. First part. That is him. That is him. That's 
Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. If her if her 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 okay, yeah. that was a hard one, Stephen. That was yes. a hard one. Yeah. Let's hear number two. Yes, Stephen. You come. No, no clue. No clue. No clue. No. Every calypso that's been sung, that sounds like yeah. That's... Everybody that went him on out from nineteen seventy. Yes, that's what it sounds. Take away, 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 <laughs> we only have two tonight, huh? Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you're, what you're, is ready that one? you're ready for the answer? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we bust. We bust. There's no in between with Stephen. <laughs> wow. Oh. But look at Chuck. Does what year was that? I know. Yeah. <laughs> I went to get deep. <laughs> Yes. Uh, since, listen, how Chuck does looking now since I know myself, Chuck does looking like that. So I don't know where Stephen gets <laughs> this picture from. Wow. But you are general, 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 actually said Chuck does at 841, you know, you all. You Maybe see, yes. it's Jonathan. Jen says that. I put on my guns again, Chuck does. All right, Jen. Yes, yeah. Just yeah. help me put it on. So. Wow. Think about a question. Think about oh, a question. How, so, how so did you Jen, you have to ask, what, you, you can ask one person on the panel a question. <laughs> and Maria <laughs> said, Maria Bola said that was before the choke. <laughs> it was so just not the picture. <laughs> 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 That was funny, Maria. <laughs> yeah, before the chop, when you get good gray, that's a good one. That was a very good, a good one. one. Yeah. You guys know me gray with Stephen, is that it's very easy or oh, very, very hard. hard. Yeah, exactly. Oh, gosh. <laughs> anyway, so while we wait on the question, yeah. uh, we can check out the next segment coming to your screen. Let's see. Oh. Past and present collide in this supernaturally funny buddy comedy when the stoner slacker Hannah is hired to portray Lady Wordsworth in a tour of Wordsworth Manor, who was a servant belle who died in 1875. Hannah, a hot mess, figures she <laughs> can't fake it until the ghost of Lady Wordsworth appears. Here is the trailer of Paul. Lady of the Ma'am, do you have any illegal substances on you? No, that I can explain. This is really pathetic. Well, you know what? I've been cheating on you. With who? With the mailman. Betty? With the milkman. We don't have a milkman. Hear ye, hear ye. My name is Lady Wadsworth. I built this house in 1855. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, what? This house was built in 1840, and it's literally right on the cover of the pamphlet do you even work here what makes you so qualified a phd in american history from harvard oh. how dare you pose as me in my own house um does everybody see this old timey looking lady right now oh sorry lady watsworth was the absolute classic okay i need your help not because you're a man okay because you're a nerd I got an old-fashioned bitch ghost. You are a disgrace. I won't have people thinking I behave like you. You're such a good drunk driver. Thanks, I know. If you insist on pretending to be me, will you allow me to teach you how to be a lady? Okay, just please stop blocking me. Blocking. Whoa, what are you, a 13 year old boy? These are from the 80s. It's my favorite era of D. The lady should excuse herself, actually. Did you just come to my room to fart? It wasn't you. There's a worldwide web of information. Well, they call it the internet. Son, this property has been in our family for years. 
performance the last few weeks. What about it? Over here, we have... Oh, oh, sorry. It hasn't been good. He's a total dick. You and that word dick. It's a shortened version of Richard. Yes, I have known many, many dicks in my lifetime. Ow! You're a smart, confident woman who could do anything she sets her mind to. You're right. I could do anything you set my mind to. Close enough. Whenever I would have guests over, I would offer them tea and sex. Snacks. 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 Does not look well. No, he's just a nerd. That's what they look like. A nerd. <laughs> I would watch that. Very yes, me too. It's funny. But I don't know how many more movies they're going to find for a lady to learn manners for somebody. You know, they do it with. Um, you find out you're a princess. Yeah. You know, you you find out. Um, you know, you whatever. And now all of a sudden, it's a ghost gonna teach yeah. you. Yeah. Well, I hope there's some twist in there that you know it wouldn't be typical. You know. But it looks good. It looks fun. Yeah. She looks, well she looks good. Well yeah. It looks like a good script for sure. Really does. Yeah. Okay. So any question? Do we have a question? No, not uh, yet. No. Not yet. So we no. just for me. I'm not seeing the comments on my phone. I'm not seeing any questions. No. Yeah, I, there isn't any questions. Either. Okay, well, right. well, let's go on to. So mm -hmm. I was thinking. So what have we been thinking, ladies? What have we? Let's start with our guest. Mm -hmm. What have you been thinking? What uh, is she hearing us, Stephen? Uh, oh, you look like a truth. Are you hearing us? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. Yes, yeah, so ladies, what have you been thinking about? Okay, I mean, I'm seeing my face showing, so that means someone asked me something. Are you all hearing yes. me? Yes. 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 Hearing me. Yes. yes. So type Are we wondering what I cannot hear anything. Could you so maybe we type it. Oh my gosh, I can't hear anything. I'm seeing you all saying yes. I can't hear okay. anything. Okay. I'm so sorry, I'm Go not hearing anything. Okay. At all. Penny, you know, just sat down I have just morning. been winging it. Penny, no. Penny, what Penny what smile without the weed. Penny tried to do the nothing. sign language we learned, but <laughs> nothing. I remember. <laughs> see you later. That is see you later, right. Penny. I remember that. Okay. See you later. <laughs> That's all I remember. <laughs> Whatever. Sign language? No. I. <laughs> she Penny, stop. Sign language, I can't. I don't know what's going on with the connection. I'm not. I'm not oh, hearing. Oh gosh. I'm seeing. It's That's, That's all right, really darling. We anything. understand. It's. Oh, my That's gosh, it's so OMG. Sorry. That's okay. fine. It's That's OMG fine. You just live. look pretty. You sit there and look pretty. That's good. Oh, what you thinking, girl? Oh, gosh. Listen, I have had um, a couple of days of thinking about creatives and wondering how creatives have been surviving. And yeah. I'm looking at everybody flying out and going out. All artists, I lost so many artists and creatives that I know that are leaving to look for something to do in the next couple of months. And I've just been wondering what is what, what might, might be my fate. And just thinking of all my options because I know that I can't do the next six months the way the last six mm -hmm. months passed. I, 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 it's, it's, it's too much. It's, it's, it's way too much. So I've just been thinking a lot of cre about creatives and people who haven't been able to apply their trade and do their work and earn money and take care of their families and what yes. sort of mindset or headspace that they're in. Mm. It's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, that's that, that's what has been constantly on my mind. Yeah. You know, I mean, I and Cecilia, we've done, we've done our thing, you know, mm -hmm. for trying to be creative yeah. and, and doing, working with the internet and working with the system and working with the pandemic. And we've, we've done little things, you know, mm -hmm. um, but we're barely surviving. And so I'm wondering about people who don't have that access, that, 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 that drive, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, yesterday, a guy, not today, well, it was, I don't know. This weekend, a, a guy we all I don't know committed suicide. Yeah, I saw that. He was so mm -hmm. stricken with his um with his finances and the, the lack of finances because yeah. of this pandemic that you know he chose mm -hmm. to end his life like that. Yeah, 
I mean, suicide is such a horrible and selfish way, I think. That, but that's my... Then, Penny, that leads me to what I've been thinking, because I was down the islands in the bay, Westwood Row, with my family, small bubble, my mother's 80th. And on my mother's 80th, we are all celebrating, and I hear my sisters all ball out, no, 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 no. And right in the bay, across the hill, a guy we all know, there with his family killed himself and so it has you thinking you know about life and death and the choices you make mm -hmm. and how grateful you i am to be alive and i don't know mm -hmm. what tomorrow will bring but i'm just so grateful to have the love and support of my family and i i feel so sad that he mm -hmm. you know didn't feel he had that i'm sure he did you know but i, I don't know why he did it i just I just think but it is very sad and so I, I i just think too we all have to reach out to people we know of course that calls everybody in my group to be like every minute where's so and so where's so and so mm -hmm. you're just super vigilant now you know yeah. i'm just keeping my eyes on everybody you know because yeah so, well so we i have to I, look I, out I for wanna, each other i want to add to what um so i have something what i was thinking that is not to do with this but i think you all touch on something so important oh so, mm -hmm. So, so something so important that you all um you all spoke about okay so because that, this I is the only way that i right. i get in a queue right i'm so sorry but someone texted me and they told me the question you all asked me so once you all right. hearing me i can go ahead if you would go like ahead. go ahead go what ahead. i've been go thinking ahead. right mm -hmm. all right so what i've been thinking and not just now like for this entire pandemic is everyone's mental health because mm -hmm. especially the ones that are driven by like working and you know having a family life a proper one that is you know what about how do we even function i heard penny spoke earlier i think it was penny spoke about you know at least thank god for the internet and that kind of thing where we could have access to see you know you see your friends you see your co-workers you see you know family that kind of thing but other than that for me because i find it so hard because i love working and i was one of the only recent ones that went out to work i'm into the beauty industry and it was really hard for me it was really 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 hard so mm -hmm. i i mean only now i'm feeling a little better but i was heartbroken i was depressed for a while you know, I was just worried and thinking about you know how persons could actually get their mental health. You it's know. in line with what we were saying about the mental yeah. health. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's about the kind of mind that will think that that is an answer. I always, I always worry about that kind of thinking. Mm -hmm. you know, penny, Penny. Yeah. Hear, hear how I process it, huh? Yeah. You, we can't understand that. Mm -hmm. We can't because we're not in that headspace. We can't understand because we are processing things logically. When you are in that space, logic goes out the window. We yeah. can't try to understand that. We just have to accept that at that time, that person thought that the best thing for them. Yeah. And it and may seem, but we can never try to understand that because we're not in that headspace. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I, I, mean, I want to add. I want to add that that is why somebody mentioned earlier that is why you need to check in on people and i want to mention um i wasn't going to talk about this but i think we need to talk about this as far as what i was thinking right so i have an event coming in big everybody know anime career is celebrating 20 years this year so it's a lot of work and we're not getting the support we're not getting the funding we're not getting it but we determined and today was a day where I said, okay, all the people I have to call, we have people working from in different islands. I am going to start my conversation to do with the work about their mental health. That was my first thing. Okay, tell me, talk to me. How are you feeling today? Every single one of the people that I spoke to on the team, I, I started with that. And you would not believe the kind of stories that I got from people with that that I felt, oh my God, imagine if I didn't ask that, they would be doing this work because they know they have to do it and not even getting an opportunity to express it. 
So somebody mentioned it. Watch out for your friends. Watch out for the creatives because they are the ones that are suffering a lot when it comes to expressing themselves. If if creatives, if I cannot paint or do animation or do my thing, I I I, I wither. I wither yeah. away. You yeah. know. So check well, it. Yeah, creatives and and entrepreneurs. A lot of 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 entrepreneurs and you know people who responsible for their own business like personal trainers and people in the beauty mm. industry and all of these band actors and all oh so many of us and when you have one, gone uh, we have some clips from richard um you all oh, 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 we, we need some sharing up now yes yeah, yeah, we need some sharing show that's up. going on so here okay. And on a good note, you all. Yes, good. Good note. that was beautiful. Yeah, but anything from the audience that is that they want to say our questions because we're gonna wrap up very no, sure. no question. But Yvette Marchand says, Keep the faith, this too shall pass. Where there's life, there are possibilities. That's a good yeah. Yvette Marchand is a wonderful, wonderful friend of mine as well. Mm -hmm. Page you know? says it's very sad, but sometimes the human mind just can't cope. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Sad. Yeah. Oh, we uh, we I, live I, in I, hope, Penny. Huh? We said we live in hope. Yeah. I know. We live in hope. Mm -hmm. It's just okay. a sad state, and then, um, yes. and then there are people who would not say something is wrong, and that's the sad thing about it, you know. Mm -hmm. For some people, yeah. it might be easy, and if we, I just wish people could talk. Sometimes yeah. we could just talk. For some mm -hmm. people, find that yeah. this grace thing admit, admit that they, they, they need help. Mm -hmm. Some people well, would just not say. Maria Bola said, I need to keep busy to not get depressed, and it's hard to do that. With so much restrictions, I miss my children who don't reside with me. And with the pandemic and closed borders, it has been around four years. I haven't hugged them. Oh my God, Maria! Oh, oh my gosh. God! But we, 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 really, we really have to wrap up now, y'all. We we're, out out of we're out of time. Join us next week, Wednesday, 8 p.m. on OMG TT on Facebook and OMG tv tt on youtube or right here on cc and tv6 gael m and e tv and smash radio tt.com <laughs> right. subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Right. we leave you now with the soca superstar lyrical in his brand new music video for fat kia done <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i turn up the fit till it's on over Turn up the vent till it's on over Boy, I just wanna get this feeling all day I just wanna drink and party all day Give a little money to the promoter